no, we were on the set of when Joey married Bobby. No, I thought we were getting married. And you thought wrong. Oh, so we're about to take you. Uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Too much emphasis is put on the honeymoon. It's just not that important. It'll all come natural or unnatural as the case may be. <laughs> So, Tell us more about the play. Uh, the play is when Joey married Bobby. Okay. And uh, it's about a southern socialite, me, whose son is getting married. Um, and, I, and I'm also running for Christian of the Year. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, Lady Bunny is playing Charity Divine, who is uh, my best friend in the play. So you can imagine that little composition and everything that can uh, emote from that. You've so. done a lot of TV and movies. What made you come to stage? Um, actually, I've, I've been a stunt woman for 12 years, and I do stunts as well, but theater is kind of my first love. Sydney! Australia? Joey, that's halfway around the world! You can't go, I won't allow it. I have to go, Bobby can't pass this up. Joey, no job is worth moving that far from home. But mama, Bobby's only making half a million dollars a year. Joey, you've been an anchor around my neck, go be with your man. <laughs> We were laughing throughout. The one-liners were coming so fast. Yeah. No sooner you were laughing at one, you were laughing at another. And yeah. you were tackling some serious topics, such Absolutely. as AIDS and dealing with homelessness, but still having a funny laughter to it without right. being overpowerful. Or making fun of it or anything right. like that. It's just a matter of this is life. And, and, and when people laugh, when we have a conversation, we're still laughing and having a good time. So right. that's what we expect everybody to have is a good time when they come to the house. Joey just informed us that he's moving to Australia. Australia? I see why you're so upset. I remember a few years back, Meryl Streep went there and some wild dog ate a baby. It's very nice, nice to meet you now. Let's focus on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Maurice Renee Show has now been renamed The Bunny Show. The Bunny Show. <laughs> Did I mention that? I am a wonderful on-air personality <laughs> as well. And I mean, Lady you know, Bunny. sometimes these are the recession, the budget it's is just unwieldy with too many cast members. Okay, let's talk serious. <coughs> let's talk serious. Well, I'm an actor in my trade. <laughs> Joey, are you telling me that the man you're about to marry is making a half million dollars a year? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We always write a play like that um, when we write jokes, it's like uh, what our parents laugh. And so what we found that like with gay men and women, they'll bring their families to see this show because there's no, we don't preach and there's no obscenity or anything like that. And the, and the parents in the play say, you know, the things that their parents think. I found this role to be very challenging. <laughs> Yes, Dad, Viola told me everything. Good. Because <laughs> man, man, I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> Don't ever do that again, son. It was great fun to play this role. I mean, it's it's a role that is huge, and I get to sort of tear up the tear up the stage whenever I'm on it. I want you to have this. No, that's your tiara. I take this time to announce my engagement. <laughs> this is the groom. <laughs> How was it playing the groom in a same-sex marriage? Uh, it was actually it was it's a lot of fun. Uh, Joey uh, Joey's character is um, very excited to get married. He is, uh, uh, but at the same time, he's really nervous because he, he really wants his mom's approval, and he's he it's it's life changing. I mean, somebody getting married is a really really big step, and uh, just playing it was was actually uh, it's. I really enjoy it because it's bringing part of myself out or trying to figure Joey out and try to play him the best way I can and it's helping me uh, become a better actor. That's a super digital. I told Henry he can stay with us! And we here with the actress that played the daughter in the play. You were hilarious. Thank you. But I have to tell you, I would have knocked you. You brought a, ho a homeless man home to my house. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I bring a lot of things home. I bring a lot of stray animals home. Henry, the homeless man, <laughs> is probably the worst or best thing I bring home, depending on your point of view. But I think my mom definitely wants to knock me for that. She's 80 years oh old. Oh, my God! Can you believe it? Such an amazing character actress. I have a really great facialist. We're here with the man that plays the homeless guy that we just mentioned. How was it playing someone homeless? You know, Henry, the fellow I play, is, is the 
I think the synthesis of so many people right now who worked hard and they got their little piece of the American dream and then suddenly, you know, through no fault of their own, they're out on the street and having a rough time. Uh, and yet, the writers see this through a kind of comic lens. Oh, yeah. right. I'm Joey's best man. Oh, you're the boy with AIDS! Oh, so did you suck at that Yeah, no, I'll spike you up in the room, spit for a queen. You're known as the man with AIDS. Yes. And that's yes. so dynamic. Yeah. How did you feel about playing that role since it's such a sensitive topic and put a comical spin on it? It is. It's, it, it can become a, sens uh, you know, a sensitive topic, but also you have to know that, that Danny is not, he does not pity himself. He decided a long time ago that he was a fighter. He would never pity himself or anything um, about his life or anyone with his situation. He's really positive. He wants to live every day to the fullest. You know, oh, again, you know, honey, it is not your fault you're gay. And a child with such an overbearing mother who castrates and reacts to masculinity on any man who crosses her path is bound to turn to we are. I'm here with the actress that played the grandmother in the movie. I know she looked too young to be playing Grandma? The you How is that possible? Her outfit. That's acting. Get, give them a little taste of the voice. How much of my son's money did you waste on that outfit? <laughs> Thank you, Viola. Sarah, as soon as I heard the news about Aunt's mother, I rushed right over with the fried chicken. I love this role. It's amazing. Viola is the character that pretty much keeps the whole family together. And um, she does it in a funny way, and she, she gets exhausted and, and kind of upset with the people sometimes, but I think deep down she just loves everybody. So she plays an important role in, in, in keeping the Edwards family together. I love it. Oh, you get that? Oh, you're like, oh, I just go play some other angry pair today. No, I say no, you get it. Oh, please. I said no. Why not? Because they may mistake me for you, and I might get hurt. Don't be ridiculous. You're at least 20 pounds heavier than, oh, you're breaking my ribs. <laughs> We have audience participation, but we're lucky with our award winner. <laughs> we are just joking behind the stage. You had to come see this play. We are joking. Fantastic. I go see a lot of theater, and okay. I have not, I was guffawing in the audience, Ooh. and I was laughing that loud, and I swear, this needs to have an extended off-Broadway run, and investors need to run, not walk. So tell everybody that don't recognize you. Well, you if, if you don't, I'm uh, Randy Jones, the original cowboy in Village People. Ow, yes, yes. <laughs> Randy is in the bed. Go to Wikipedia. I want to touch his chest, too. <laughs> the writing for this play is great. Lady Bunny is great. Mm -hmm. Matthew Pender is great. Mm -hmm. If you want to see a wonderful, two or three hours of entertainment with a 15 minute intermission. That intermission. Felt, that felt like right? felt short. Like felt like well, you nothing. can run across the street and have a cocktail if you want to. Uh, that's what we all did. <laughs> but it's at Theater 80 St. Mark's. Come see it, don't miss it, because you'll have to pay 49.50 at New World Stages if you wait. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, You're for blessing welcome. us. Great things from God you. God bless y'all. All right. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Y'all are you. really my children. I love you. You have to see the show, it's hilarious. <laughs> yes.